Yeah, you can yeah, shut in the house. First one in. What is going on, friend? Hello. What up? <laughs> we. What's up there, awesome girl? How are you, friend? Welcome to stream. Howdy, howdy, nothing much. Looking forward to this eye... This eye bleach after last night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up there, Cap? Hello, Atticus. How are you today? I'm sorry, but I don't think I'll be able to stay for the entire stream today as I have to be up too early tomorrow. Sorry. Don't worry about it at all, Cap. You're here now. That's awesome. And if you have to dip out, that's totally good, buddy. Don't even worry about it. Welcome to the stream, friends. Mikey Hernandez, what's going on? I'm doing well, buddy. How are you? Steven Beck is in the house. Woo! What's up? What's up? Hello, my friend. Hello, everybody. We are back again in the dark of... Fun times at Poo Poo. Fun times. It's getting closer to Friday, you guys. It is getting closer to Friday. I am stoked. I'm having to babysit my niece and nephew tonight. Oh boy! I bet that's a wild ride. Micah Wilder in the house. What's up, Atticus? Just enjoying some of your funny compilation videos. My man, thank you so much for that. You are awesome. I am doing well, my dear friend. How are you and your fam doing? It's good to see ya. Labs, we very well might do labs today. I have a single labs key card and quests. Happy Ash Wednesday to you as well, Mikey. Appreciate that, man. Yes, Yugi, I already told Cap we might be doing labs because I have one labs key card. Can't wait to see the first episode. When was the first Seven Days to Die stream? Seems like a while ago now. It was. It was back in October of last year. So, yeah, that's a thing. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You're most welcome, Mikey. You're most welcome. Woo! Friendship time! So happy we get to be chilling. So awesome. Glad we're here and we're hanging. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. We'll let all the other cool people show up when ready. How have you guys been enjoying the weekly live streams here on the YouTubes? I was just watching your walkthrough of Last of Us Part 2. Were you really? Which, uh, which episode were you on? Love them? I'm glad to hear that, Steven. You're awesome, man. Woo! So we got some quests to do in-game. Spruce, what is going on? I'm super excited too, Spruce. Woo! It's gonna be such a good time. It's gonna be such a good time. I'm just checking that Instagram post I did earlier. Just seeing what the response was. It was positive, which is awesome. I was informed by our very own Ricky here on YouTube that my phone autocorrected yolks, like an egg yolk, to yolk, like an ox yolk. I'm upset about that. It's nice to be able to hang out some more with this Extra Wednesday stream. It really is. Do you even have to ask extra hangout time with my friends and family? I love it. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Whee! My dear friends, if you're here, be sure to hit that like button on this video. It assists with the YouTube al algorithm. Oh man, you're on episode 7. Nice, dude. That's cool. That's cool. So, yeah, you guys. Tarkov. I know I've played Tarkov here before. Nice, Mikey. This is my character right now, rocking a little 590 with a 226, and only one magazine for the 226, or primarily depending on the 590. Uh, our tasks at present are, we have a lot. The one I've been working on is this one, which is we have to eliminate scavs on customs. I only have three more of those to get, so I'm hoping we'll be able to get that. And then for an operational task, I need to find screw nuts. 
So that should be relatively easy. If I if I had saved them, I would I would probably be able to get the quest done right away. But definitely got a full stash, got a full stash of goods and services, which is nice. Uh, plenty of toys to work with today, so that's cool. Um, I'm probably going to save this T20 for more medical because it's just such a valuable backpack. But we've got plenty of things to work with, um, and then we uh, uh, so we have other stuff to do. So we're just going to be hanging out, having fun messing around being us so that'll be cool there you go count i've got a few minutes before church starts so i'm popping in to hang out with you what's up my denticles how are you friend what's going on sally frisbee which is actually hero link how are you friend i'm so glad you remind us to do that i totally forget to like since it's not a thing on twitch yeah right for sure okay i'm an idiot i was waiting on twitch all smug thinking i was early <laughs> Yugi beat you to it, Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue, I would like to formally thank you now for being the one person to vote A in the Discord poll. I greatly appreciate it. Your service is valiant. Now, on that note, we've got... To, yeah, there's tons of maps. We may even go into Lighthouse. I might... I'm definitely going to mess around on Labs. I don't think I've gone on Labs on YouTube yet. Um, but if we can get that one quest done, we'll probably mess around with the other stuff. Oh, the other thing, though, is I'm level 14, almost level 15. So if I can unlock the flea market, you guys will see me do some stuff with that, including but not limited to buying keys for other customs quests. And we might try to do those, too. So that's a thing. All right, but we're here. You awesome people are here. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see if we... Oh, you know what? Let me take off my white armband so I don't give myself totally away um and let's try to eliminate some scavs on the old customs at high noon neener all right boom hey now i'm a 12 so i can say both yes and no at the same time thus in my answer you'll notice i voted both a and b but that does nothing ellie all that does is is show me that you're divided in your thinking that doesn't actually help to get to a goal point hey it's going it's going well my friend it's going well thank you what's up there lichen how are you friend welcome to the stream hello hello I'm so proud of myself. I was read the first three chapters of Genesis. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing more Bible reading rather than just Bible studying on my Bible app. That is excellent, awesome girl. You should be proud of that. That's excellent. Make it a habit, friend. And if you can find like something that's a rhythm where you've got that maybe 15 or 20 minutes and you can just sit down and read and spend some time with the Lord each day, that's awesome. That's going to be solid for you. I find for me, I love to I love to read in the morning because it kind of it, it sets a wonderful tone for the day. But I know that there's people who love to read in the evening, and then that way they can fall asleep with it in their mind. So you find what works best for you. You're most welcome, my friend. Amen, Micah. Amen. It's good stuff. I, do, do you guys, my phone, I have a Samsung Galaxy S7, and uh, it does the thing where the little light will blink when you have a message or a notification, but you end up getting used to it, and then I start to get the ghost notifications. Um, so I look down, and I think I see a, a light, but I don't. So, that's dang it. Ellie, no, that's this, no, that, that's, that's, that, that paragraph is too much. Let's take it a step back, friend. It's a, it's a simple multiple choice answer. You don't get to write in an answer when it's multiple choice. No, Micah, Yugi is not letting this go. A phantom message. You won 30 million dollars. Huh! Oh, no, it's just in my head again. Who's excited for the new series? Woo! That's what I'm talking about, JoJo. 
It's gonna be good. It's gonna be super good. It's gonna be so much fun. So excited for you guys to see it. Rachel's super stoked, too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yugi, all I'm doing is mental note carding right now. Mental note carding. Whee! It's gonna be so much fun, you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. I feel like it's a small party today, you guys. It's a very small party today. Do you have a favorite episode yet, Atticus, or have you not decided? See, here's the thing. All the episodes hinge on each other, right? I really like the very first Horde Night episode. The very first one. But each of the Horde Night episodes are super unique. But then you have all the other episodes that establish the characters and kind of the world, and they all hinge on each other. So, uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's raining in Tarkov. Aw, oh, dude, thanks, Hero Link. Alright, guys, here we go. Here we go. Tactical Hobbit going in. I really am too, Jojo. I really I really think it's gonna be positive. Wow. Lag. I don't need laggy Tarkov games, okay? My friends are here to enjoy Tarkov with me. And I would very much like to just have it work for them. See, I, I have to be so careful because I hear the rain. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut to old gas. This is not what I do. Why you lag? This lag is not good because my shots might. Well, I have a shotgun, so. Shoot. He took Magnum Buckshot to the face. We're gonna leave him there. That's one scab. Shotguns help. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. And none of his shots made contact. That scared me. I did jump. We're all right. We're all right. friends. Tarkov can get dicey. I, 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 I was behind that tree right there, and so I couldn't make contact with him, like, if I engaged him. See, I don't even know if that was a scab or not, too. Shoot. 
See, now I'm pinched. Upset. Shoot, 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 shoot. Stood still too long. I'm not in a good spot. I'm better being here because then I really only have to fight one direction. Which is that way. Because now I can get him from here. And I have a little bit more of a barrier. I, I need those guys. I got shots on target. I mean, they're bleeding unless they have medical. And those are scabs. Those are AI enemies. Now, I don't know if that's a person, or if that's a team of two. This is dicey. This is dicey, and that's because I didn't have the best arm. This medical went quick because I had blacked out stuff. Melissa, the, that's not a Christmas tree down. Or that's not a Christmas tree. It's a universal hobbit tree. Okay? And I like my lights. Leave me be. Got him. That's calling. That's gonna call in everybody. You gotta go. Completed. That was the other guy who was behind us. Oh man! Don't don't let anybody come up behind me.
All right, we got the quest. We gotta go. Where's my ex fail? Crossroads, Ruoff. I am low on ammo. Block 18. See if there's any medical. Woo! Hello, all of my dear friends who are showing up to the stream now. You guys are awesome. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Chamber check. B. Full auto. No. Single fire. Okay. Now we have a, a secondary with a little bit more ammo than whatever that was. I was rocking. Get away from the gunshots, so I'm gonna go all the way over here. Ooh, what's up there, Mock? How are you? I saw Quinners in the house. What's going on? Holy cow, an MPX. Um, Quinners, I might have missed a message. Um. Approximately ten bullets. One. Approximately ten bullets. Okay. It's okay. We've got multiple weapons that are loaded, so we gotta go. Let's get out of here. Good finds. That's good. I just want to leave at this point. I don't want to do anything risky or risque. Hey, what's up there, Ricky? How are you, buddy? Hey, take it easy, Mind Tentacles. See you after service, hopefully. The all powerful 590 with Magnum Buck. That's good, awesome girl. I'm happy to see that. I heard him. Where is he? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Controls work for me. Uh. 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 
I hit him once. We got the quest done. I did hit him once, though. Whoo! Okay, that was a straight ambush by a team of two. I He had a suppressed weapon, and I thought he was in the bushes right here because I heard the footsteps. But I was hearing the footsteps of his buddy right next to me, and he was shooting at me from afar. So, hey, you know what? GG on them. They did good. They earned, they earned the stuff that I had on me. They earned that stuff, but look at that. Headshot and scav and scav. That was still good. That was still good. Damage dealt to body, 661. Damage resort by armor, 171. Ammo used, 23. Hit count, 21. That's good. I missed two bullets. Uh, fatal hits, 3. So, we did pretty... For first game, getting a quest done, that was pretty good. No, um, awesome girl, you have to type at and then the person's name and then it'll, it'll come up on a list and you click that and then you can sub respond to each other. Yeah, Quinners, the spaghetti MREs are very nice. I want to go back here. I wanted to see what was going on. Um, GG, yeah, shotguns and trench warfare is perfect. Let's see here. I mean, Quinners, I don't I don't know about that. I know I do know that there's a lot of those specific soldiers that are very young. They're not the veterans. Um, but when you're amassing next to a country, I, I don't know how you could not speculate what was about to happen. Where, where am I at as far as XP? Let's see here. 1100. Wow, okay. We still have a long way to go to 15, so that's a thing. Apply. Yes, awesome. It's a battle royale of sorts. You got an awesome girl. All right. So hopefully insurance will come through on that. Hopefully insurance will come through on that. So we did make it out with these rack with the with this little rack thing. Probably should have put something else in in this container, like maybe fuel, but. It is what it is. I think this is a sound apparatus that we can give to Ragman, and then we'll also complete that other quest. So, Ragman, here. Take the... Oh, 28,000. All right, that was something good to stick in the old container. 28,000 rubles right there. And then we got this quest done with Therapist. Yay, us. Wow, that's funny. I always love watching what they say. Yay, us! So that gave us rubles and east marks and a splint. GG's all around. Thank you so much. Does she have any more tasks? No, she does not. Okay, cool. So, now that we did that, I say we take a moment. I'm, 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 I'm thankfully well off when it comes to rubles in this game. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of what we can do. I want to do something fun. I don't think I need this Zhuk because I have my Yusek armor. So, I'm actually going to sell the Zhuk to Ragman. Well, let me see if Ragman will buy it. He will. 22,000. Boom. Um, okay. So. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see... I have a full stash, so we might as well use it. Do you guys want... Hey, what's up there, Wyatt? How are you, buddy? 
Welcome to the stream, man. What's my favorite month? That's an excellent question. I love the spring months. March, April, May. Absolutely adore them. Uh, June used to be a favorite month. Um, it depends on what the weather's like. Um, and I really love, like, November time. But I think March, April, May are hands down my favorite months. So what do you guys want to see? The maps that we have... Uh, I'll just show you. We've got Interchange, which is a mall. Customs, which is what we did. Woods, which is what you would think. It's a, it's a nature preserve. Factory, which is nuts. Uh, reserve is a military base. I don't want to go here. I do not want to go here. This would be bad. Lighthouse is the newest map. And then there's Shoreline, which is like a resort town. And then we have Labs. Did I say Labs? The Lab. I can go to the Lab once. What do you guys want to see? What would you like to see me? That's cool, Ricky. Wyatt, man, my day's been going good, and it's even better now that I get to be hanging out with you guys. Sorry, but I have to head out. Have a great rest of the stream. We'll see you tomorrow on Twitch. Sounds good, Cap. See you tomorrow, buddy. Uh, Cap is voting Woods. Cap is voting Woods for our next go at it. Which will be good, by the way, too, because this we, we don't have a particular quest. Labs can be a finale. Yeah, very fast finale. I'd kind of like to see Lighthouse. I never played this game, so surprise me. I'm going to pull up the wiki because I honestly would love to have us try the Lighthouse. So maybe I can do a pistol run. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Um, escape. Here we go, map of park Cue! I go to the wiki, and then I can look at the maps and find where I need to go. Lighthouse is 40 minutes, and there's actually less people on it, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not a fan of the advertisements. All right, let's see here. So we've got a road to military base vehicle exit, a side tunnel, a mountain pass, path to shoreline, northern checkpoint, armored train, hideout under... Oh, that's scabs. That's scabs. Okay, so we've got armored train, path to shoreline, mountain pass... Oh, I don't... I can't do that one. Side tunnel. But that's a, that's a duo. That's a duo one. Okay, so we've got Path to Shoreline, Northern Checkpoint, Southern Road, Armor Train. That's kind of where we're at. So, and then we have a map here. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright. Let's see what we can see. Lighthouse is cool. Lots of people are saying Lighthouse. Okay. Let's, you know what? Let's take a stand. Have a good night, Atticus, and everyone. God bless you all. Hey, God bless you, Mock. Take it easy. Mock the Witches. I actually just read your full name, dude. That's a hilarious username. Okay. Let's get geared then. We need to have some vittles for our guy. And then we need to get medicine. Let's see here. Medicine. That, that. Does this stop heavy bleeding? 175 and light bleeding. Yeah, this stops that. So let's go ahead and do that while we have this. Um, I don't want to use super expensive armor. This only has 35 hit points. This has 47 and that's the best armor in the game, and that's really good armor, too. Okay, we'll we'll do this. I say we do... I, do, I don't want to handicap myself by any means. But I'm thinking we go ahead... Well, I'll ask you guys this. Do you guys want to see a pistol run, where I use just a pistol? Or do you guys want to see me do a, um, like a rifle? Like an AK-47? What do you guys want to see?
Yeah, no, Quinners, that's a, that's a Bible verse I am very familiar with. Well, not, not exactly the number, but knowing that Bible prophecy, I'm very aware of it. And, and believe me when I say, Quinners, this is a situation I'm paying very close attention to because I'm aware of what it says in the Bible. Hapana is right there, Interstate. Don't worry about it, buddy. You're good. Pistol slash exploration run and get a new weapon in game. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Let's do that. I love... I, I want to save my 1911s here. They're... Tr well, but should I, though? If I had level 4 armor, it'd be different. I'll use a... Oh, you know what? I've got a Grok. You know what I'm going to do? Let... Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do. All right, I I have understanding now. Let's let's let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some stuff from Ragman, cause we have the money. We'll do that, and we'll do a sling bag. And let's go ahead and we'll utilize. I think I need eighty rounds. Okay, this is gonna be funny. This is a Bernice dog special. Boink. Boink. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Unload. Oh, it's 84 rounds, okay, perfect. This is humorous. This is an ultimate pistol, my friends. There we go. 84 rounds. 84 rounds in a tiny Makarov. Fear me. I say. Fear me. I'll just do a balaclava and uh, ears too. 84 rounds in the Makarov and a sling bag. Let's have some squash. And let's have a little bit of vitamin- oh, let's have a little bit of aquamarine. Perfect. We're- we're gonna be in excellent position. They're not gonna know what hit them. Ooh, barbecue meatballs. That sounds- I- that's interesting. That thing is beastly. No, I know, right? I know. It's going to be pretty good. It's going to be really good. All right. I this this is Ghetto Blaster Supreme Lighthouse. Let's go 15. It'll be evening. Boom, boom. And I mean, I'll get this back just so I can I can sell it and get some of the money back when it returns to me. 84 round makeshift drum magazine. Josh made this in his home forge. All right. I think we're ready. But believe me though, Quinners, it's a it's a it's definitely a matter to be very much in prayer of. You see what I'm saying? Very much in prayer of. Well, that's the thing, Quinners, and that's what that's what a lot of people that's that's the thing about when you're looking at Bible prophecy and and especially in Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Matthew, Revelation, you 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 do need to be aware of what's going on because you're right. I my mom and I've had this wonderful discussion as well about end times events and how, you know, they can't take even things like the beast as a singular thing, because when you're talking about multiple heads, and then there's details that are being specified, that can very much be allegorical to leaders or 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 country heads or um, uh, uh, department heads, things like that, right? So you got to be aware of that, 
And that's why I, I say, handle it with prayer. Because if you ask God to give you wisdom, he's going to give it to you, right? Um, and and God will reveal what is meant to be revealed. Obviously, there's things that it says in the Bible are, are only known by him. But he's going to let you know what you need to know to navigate the days ahead. And if you ask him to help keep you and your family safe, he will. He's good. So... Is this game rated T or M? Um, it, I, I feel like this game, because of the profanity that can come up, might be rated M. But it's not gory. You know what I mean? It's not anything like that. So, uh, it's kind of somewhere between a T and an M. That's awesome, Quinners. That's excellent. That is excellent. There you go, awesome girl. There you go. And I really do. I, I think that, that that is such an important lesson in the Bible and, and something that I personally do ask for God with frequency is I do ask him with frequency, please let uh, give me wisdom. You know, I want to have wisdom like Solomon had, had wisdom because that's how you can, can navigate the days. Look at Proverbs. Look at, look at all the wisdom that is in it. You know, Psalms, everything. Uh, just being able to be intelligent and take that minute to think and let the Holy Spirit speak to you and help you navigate a situation. It's really important. Now, this is going to be a really cool map, by the way, you guys, because it is the Lighthouse. I played Lighthouse one time, and when I played it, it was an offline raid. So it's not nearly as dangerous as it could be now. So, I mean, I'm going to be... I'm going to definitely be... <laughs> trying to be careful i would love to be able to fire my weapon that's that's the thing i would really like to be able to fire my weapon and maybe shoot 30 rounds out of this mackerel that's asking for a lot i know but it'd be cool to take a swing at it and see what's what this map is like shoreline in the sense that it's a long bar um, so you kind of have a north and south, but mostly a long bar, and that's actually kind of, that can be good and bad, because I don't know where the, where the spawns are. Southern Road, Northern Checkpoint. Okay, alright. Mountain Pass. Path to Shoreline is way up there. Okay. And then there's the actual lighthouse on an island, which is pretty cool. I want to get good at this map. I feel like this map, because it is so similar to Shoreline, and I'm very good at Shoreline... Um, I think that this would be a, this is a cool, this would be a cool map to master. Now it would be funny if it was totally, like, lagged out. Well, actually, no, that's the other thing, too, is I purposely waited, excuse me, to play this map because I knew that it was new, and so there would be a lot of hype surrounding it. But thankfully, because they don't have quests on it, it seems like there's, like, initial hype, and then now it's just kind of be chill. Okay, so I believe this... Oh, shoot. Oh, man, that one. I'm bushing. I do have a round chamber. All right, we just gotta... We gotta go nice and easy. We're right next to a road. That's a car. I don't know if we're butted up against the edge. Or what? There's a chair over there. Some dude was probably chilling with a rifle. Big smoke cloud, too. This is cool. Okay. That's a cabin right there. This is locked. Alright. It looks like... I don't know if this is a checkpoint. Or some sort of path. But we're gonna look around. Talk about waking up in an austere environment and then needing to just kind of MacGyver it. Thank you for believing in me, Yugi. Oh, this is like the Chalet Chateau fancy place. Interesting. All right.
Now, if I remember correctly... Hit that dude so many times. Ah, oh, come on! Well, that was that's lighthouse. I hit that dude so many times, but I stood still, and and I should have changed positions. Ah, oh, I thought I could get a headshot because he wasn't he wasn't wearing armor. Hey, that's awesome, Ricky. What's up, Daddy Vina? How are you? I did land him hard. You know what? It's it was a very I'm I drew blood too, but again, I, I chalked that up to video game, you know, ballistics. And again, I did not move. I did not move. Damage delta body 98. Ammo U 16. Hit count was two. That's why. I was rapid firing that thing, and I only hit him twice. Oh, do they really? Ricky. That's cool. Okay, but I like that map. I really like that map. I think it's awesome. So, let's let's let our PMC have a quick oh, well, actually no. He's pretty he's pretty full. I'm thinking man, I don't know. I kind of want to hit Lighthouse again. Let's hit Lighthouse again. We got the pistol run out of the way. Let's let's go in with an actual gun. Like an AK. And let's see what we can do. Because I want to get good at this map. And we're not going to get good at it unless we play it. Okay. So that's the thing. Uh, he's smart. Um, um. Let's do. We're gonna use up some stuff. Let's go ahead and take a bandage. Because we have a lot of them. Let's do that. Then we'll do this. And then we can do AK. I like this AK. This AK has multiple bodies on it. Oh, I had I had ammo for this. Uh, oh well. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this. Super. Unload. And we'll buy some ammo. Alex, do not worry about it at all. Better late than never. Yes. Yes, absolutely, Yugi. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very true statement there. Let's get 45 rounds. No, wait. We need way more than that. 90 rounds. 90. Oh, for Pete's sake. 90. There we go. Alright. Character. Load magazines. Boink. 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 And we're back to 26 rounds of ammo. 
There's that. Aluminium. And then these two will be good. Actually, let me do this. Alright, let's see what we can do here now, friends. Have some fun. Super duper. Lighthouse. Um... 5 a.m. Right there you go, Mr. Blue. Alex, my day's been going well, friend. My day's been going well. A heck of a lot better now that I get to be with you guys and chilling. Man. Video game ballistics, though, because I could have sworn I laid into him. I could have sworn I laid into him. A and again, I should have gone bang, bang, move, bang, bang, go back to the other side of the car, bang, bang. Okay, I'm not saying anything. Oh, no, Ricky. Yeah, no, I had responded to the to the glasses thing, and I was saying that I think it's awesome, man. And that's cool. Faith Everlasting. Why, hello there. First time watching you stream. Is it really? Welcome, Faith Everlasting. It's so good to have you here. Welcome to the stream. Peanuts fan, Atticus, but I'm on hiatus with a collab of the Snoopy song, Don't Be Anything Less Than Everything You Can Be. Hey, that's cool. That hiatus is because I'm waiting for a good time for my mom to record her short cameo line. Nice! That's awesome, man. Good stuff. Indeed, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have you here. We are we are Tarkoving and just doing what we can and trying to have some fun. And whatever happens, happens. I'm I'm I have a full stash and so I'm okay to use up some gear. In game, I should say. And trying to get my way to level 15. Because when I can get my way to level 15, I can get awesome in-game money and uh, quest items and trades and things like that. Mr. Blue, tell you what. I'll go with an SMG on factory. Because then it's close range. That'll be really cool. That'll be really cool. You'll like that. But yeah, see, Ellie, that's the thing. Um, the sheriff's department out here in the county that I live in, their hit ratio is 18%. That means if they have a 10-round magazine, they will make a hit with two of them. Awesome girl, an SMG is a submachine gun. An LMG is a long machine gun. Hey, at found another shed at Make 7 this year. Holy cow, Noah, that's nuts, dude. I, I realize that there's a major delay uh, on the stream. Noah, are you are when you're asking how, are you asking the hit ratio or are you asking about your sheds? Yep, and not only that, I know a trick. Ha! <laughs> that's that's a way to get him. That's called pistol whipping. Ooh, quinners, that sounds good. How, uh, uh, what kind of pizza did you get? Yeah, hit ratio? Yeah. They're human. We're waiting for players. We don't have to do that. Just send me in. 
Hashtag pistol whipping. That's cool, Ricky. Do I have any jokes? Um, oh, is Joshua's vids political? That's interesting. Depending on what side he's on, that could, that could actually hurt one's career. Hey, what's up, Emily Builds? How are you, friend? Ooh, Quinners, that sounds good. Don't worry, I'll be a bodyguard at. Sounds good. Ah, oh, this is a mistake. Come on, lag. I spawned in the exact same spot. Did I? Yep. You're enough. I might not have actually. Oh, this lag is disgusting. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Get back to being playable. I don't want to die. I don't want to die to lag. Now, the pro I think I'm backed up against the edge of the map over here. Which is good. It's very... Mm, it is very hard to see. I think I'm on the top side of the chapel. See, and the rain messes with your hearing. Side tunnel, mountain pass, path to shoreline, southern road. Okay, so I must be... So that's a village. It's not something... Emily, I'm doing very well, my friend. I'm so happy you could join us today. Alex laying in a spicy... A very spicy burn... That was savage. Alright, well. See, I don't know where the spawns are. Again, I've walked into that chateau. I heard that, dude. So here's a town. I don't know if there's landmines. Th this right here, mountains, definitely feels like Afghanistan. I think I'm going to check the town purely just to try to get a bearing. And then kind of go from there. I apologize, too, if I'm yelling. The, it's very loud in my ear hole, the rain. How long are these raids? 36 minutes. I mean, I have time. I think I'm going to just kind of do a tactical lane. Lay down. I'm gonna give it two minutes in game, because I want that sun to come up. I want it to come up more. My cat's off last in the middle. Hey, what's up there, Johanna? Hmm. 
Yeah, right, Mr. Blue? Seriously. Either way, Alex, it was savage. Okay? And spicy. Alright, hunting mode. Blur your vision and allow movement to take you off guard. There's water in my eye. I'm starting to be able to see more, though, which I like. And I want. Nobody show up. Mountain Pass, Southern Road. Okay. Okay, I have an idea of where I'm at. Where we started is sort of the path to Shoreline. And there's people that could have spawned in front of us, in theory. Um, and what we want to get to is on the other side of this village, this way. If I'm facing out, this way. That way. It looks like. Because this looks like a peninsula village. So I want to go on the other side of it and then go that way. And then there'll be a road eventually. Alright. Yes, I do, Quinners. I remember reading that when I read Mark. Hey, what's up? Hello, Libby! Welcome to the stream! Have I been to labs yet? No, I'm going to save that for more of a finale. A final moment. Right. Why am I at the absolute slowest I can be? How dare you, game. Oh, I must have been fidgeting with my mouse and then I almost hurt myself. Can you take me higher? I moved. I was perfectly fine up there. And then now I move and I'm my delicious. To a place where blind men see. Lag. We're just gonna take our time. We're just gonna take our time. Okay? Because there's danger of all kinds in Lighthouse. Need this. Wow, that's money. This is actually more money than the horse statue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have so many splints, I'll, I'll risk losing that splint to get these out. What's up there? What's your name? Oh, fried bread! What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Your username is hilarious. So terrible. It hurt my soul. 
I'm just clunking around in here. This reminds me of Scav House on Woods. Wow. The place has definitely seen better days. PSO. I've seen better days. Oh, someone finally shot. What's up there, R? Alex, I just put that joke together. That, I'm, I'm not too sure what to make of that. That's an airdrop. and then there's the chat. What? Nasty. There's so many places evil people could be hiding. Oh. I'm gonna do a major CQB salsa here. Let me tell you. you kick a door. Can I have a gas? No. Oh, 
All right, I don't like this. These ha these homes are way too private. That was terrible. One more try. Nope. Okay, that doesn't. It doesn't. That that doesn't. Don't do what I just did. Just don't. Alkaline water. He had 45,000 rubles on him. Man. I'm a PMC nerd. I wish I had a grenade. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. 
He's hurt bad. <coughs> Ow, in your face! I got you, you butt! <coughs> that was a player scab! That was a player scab! In your face! Oh man, I shouldn't have used my Salawa. I had my... I had my... Uh, I had my East Mark. I should have stopped the heavy bleeding with the East Mark. Oh well. In your face. That's just because he was mean to me. I did that purely because he was mean to me. Oh! What a liar! He said he was a PMC! He said he was a scav! He's a PMC! Your contacts are mine now, son. And your propane. And whatever that is. Alright. Forget his contacts. I want that. I don't need that. I'll take the dino mite. My gun was empty, I didn't know that. Woo! Yugi, thank you very much for the 10 bits of glory. You are amazing. Uh. Three. That's fine, it's a 45. About half on the AK. And... Half. Okay. Three. Alright, we're gonna cut through. We're gonna go. That was a level 33 player that we just had to outsmart. I want to live now. I, what do I need? What do I need? Southern Road? All right. I know how to get... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid as many avenues of approach as I can. I'm very, uh, I'm low stamina. 
is the problem. That's okay. I might have to drop one of the fuel cans. I will. I want to make sure I get out. So I'm willing to sacrifice the fuel for that. And that's PS ammo, so... Okay. Take it easy, No, I see you in a bit, buddy. I apologize, friends, if I'm missing uh, chat. I, I want to make sure I get out safe, because this stuff that I have is really valuable. Like, really valuable. So what I'm hoping is, is I can go... See where that smoke is? I'm hoping that that's Southern Road. I want to take this road and kind of go all the way over. Really lag? Come on. I am in major predator mode. I'm checking that. Hey, nice! Welcome back, Abby. Okay, so I think we are so close. We just gotta keep following this road straight, and it's gonna naturally curve up to the left, and then we'll be good. And it's Southern Road. Southern Road is PMC always open. Hey, Luke, your beer video was hilarious, dude. That was so cool to be able to see. Thank you for sharing that with me, man. I don't know if I just saw a booger on my screen or a player. Identify yourself. Are you man or mucus?
I am mucus. Oh, you're fine. Come on through. Man, holy cow. Jindobre, what's going on, Huncho? Now this is bad. This is a kill box right here. If somebody wanted it to be. chickens. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. chickens come first. Hi ho, what's going on Kermit the Frog? Hello. Yeah. Already did that. I already did that, Alex. That was uh that was the first thing to look at. Alright, I believe this is Southern Southern Road. I really hope this is Southern Road. successful game of lighthouse friends we made it waka 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 that's cool luke sean from the goldbergs is good people too i enjoy being able to meet him and speak with him would you consider an acting role that involved extensive makeup and prosthetics, like if you had to play a creature? Absolutely yes, I think that would be amazing. Anyway, when you post a video or do a live stream, what do those words mean at the beginning and the end when you greet us and say goodbye? It's exactly that. They're, it's Polish. Chin dobre is Polish for hello or good day, and do widzenia is Polish for goodbye or farewell. Woo! I am super giddy. I tell you what. And we made it out with 45,000 in raw rubles on the one scav that we killed. Holy cow. Ponies and rainbows, kids. Ponies and rainbows. Are you of Polish descent? Yes, I am, awesome girl. I am, I am, uh, on my mom's side, we're, uh, they're, they're off the boat from Pullman. Huzzah for ponies and rainbows! <laughs> I feel good. Now let's see with what, all this stuff that we got, when we sell it, 
Let's see. I'm going to keep the horse statue, but everything else we're going to sell. I want to see what uh, what we get from it. So we're going to we're going to make a little a little section, a little section of the selly cells. Sell, sell, sell. Sell because Mosins aren't that gr they're great IRL, but in the game they're just kind of eh. I got another 1911 which has a magazine that I that I want to keep. How can you not find a how can you not Oh, do I have to Mm, hold on. I didn't inspect this. Now I'm staring down the barrel of a 45, 45. We're going to keep the 1911 magazine, but we'll sell the 1911 because we do have other 1911s. So there's that. Um, his dog tag, this thingy, this, and this, and then the horse statue we're gonna stick in here with these other statues, or with this other statue. That can actually be a quest reward, too. Okay, so we're gonna do save and save, and then we'll put more medicine here, and this stuff will keep out. Um, the Vita Juice. I'll just stick that there. 1911 magazine. We'll put here. Cool, 1911s. Alright, let's see what we can make. So, oh, and then of course we have the 45,000 rubles that we picked up. Now let's see what we get. Right? Seriously, Faith of Everlasting. That's some truth right there. Fried bread, thank you so much. Appreciate that, man. What's that thing that looks like a funky brick? It's a, it's TNT. A brick of TNT. Um, alright. Two cell. Trading. For Ragman. 27,000 on that face mask that we got from the scav. We're gonna do... Mosin and 1911. That's another over 19,000. And the, and the bullets. That's an, an additional 3,019, so 21, 22,000. Um therapist we should in theory get the rest oh my oh my word that dude is so salty this is worth a hundred and four thousand with therapist oh my word plus the twenty eight thousand from this uh the propane i think is going to be more on the flea market 51,000 on that thing, 28,000 on this that we found ourselves, 22,000 on the brick of dynamite he found, and his dog tag is worth 12,000. 247,000, add it together with the other things that we got, over 250,000 rubles from that. Oh my word. My face. My face. Oh my word. I cannot even fathom and comprehend what is occurring. Holy shnikes. Wow. <sighs> Armor got a bit jacked. That's okay though. We got some cash to repair it. Wow. Alright. Where are we at? 504. Hey, God bless you too, Yugi. Thank you so much for the super chat. You are awesome, my friend. Thank you. Take it easy, Ellie. Oh my goodness. Alright, so... 
because that did go as well as it did, and I want to be a promise keeper, we are going to do an SMG run with this kit. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to take the helmet. I'll save the helmet. So, let's do an SMG run with this kit, and I know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go ahead. We need food. Have slickers and crackers. And then we'll have the rest of this water. Where's the water? Here. Alright, cool. So that's there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's, let's do an SMG run with this kit. Uh, I don't have a helmet on because at the close range that we're gonna be in, which is for factory, it's literally, like, the helmet won't do anything. Um, so we're just gonna see what we can do. I do have, uh, some magazines. We're gonna trade all of this right here for an ump. 45. HK ump. Boom. We're gonna get... Let's get 75 rounds of 45. Okay. Boom, boom. And then we need... What does this do? This is ergonomics. Hmm, I'm gonna... I think Skier has an optic that's more appropriate for this weapon. And a grip. Zenit. Recoil minus one and ergonomics. Yes. Okay, so we want this And then I don't think I'm even gonna get an optic because it's such a close range so We'll just do what we can character It's not gonna go well, but you know we're gonna have fun we're gonna have fun doing it all right, where's that grip? Grip, boom, a little bit of a foregrip action. I apologize for the nose pick. Uh, boom. Boom. And boom. Let's see what we can do. All right. This is total just, we're gonna go in and annihilate anything. Hey, what's up, Brick Science? Welcome to the stream. Hey, take it easy, Alex. Love and Christ to you. Quinners is asking about opinion. Let me take a look. I want, I want to read it. Brick Science, so happy to have you here. Sounds good, Abby, on the prayers. Okay, let's see here. Oh, um, again, Quinners, I really don't have an opinion on that. Um, I did see it, though. So, I mean, you're, you're thinking, so. Alright, before we go into this, you guys, let's go ahead. I'm gonna take a tactical P, so I am comfortable. I will be right back. I'll check on, I get to check on the chickens again, too, make sure they're okay. I'll be right back.
I came in and there's a super chat. Brick Science 1999. Peace. Tactically. Thank you very much there, Brick Science. I greatly, greatly appreciate uh, your love and support, my friend. Guys, I had to I had to take an extra minute to my uh, my dog Lucy had a little bit of an accident in the house. I had to clean that up, but I'm glad I was able to. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Alex is back. That's awesome. Yes, the tactical P. It's a P, but tactically. That's a perfect explanation there, Alex. God bless you too, Brick Science. All right, guys, let's see what kind of nonsense we can get into in Factory with our ump. Hopefully, uh, we don't get murdered right away. Eh, if we do, whatever. We Winning that gunfight was awesome, so... You know what? I'm not. I'm actually not even gonna take a bag because I. I do. I have a sneaky suspicion <laughs> about how this is gonna go. We'll save this bag. <clears throat> um, and I can pick up a bag off of a scav. Because this stuff here, I don't even know if we'll get back. Even if we don't, it doesn't matter. It, we. It, it costs us nothing to do this loadout. So. All right. Fifteen twenty-eight. Boom. Boom, boom. Ensure. Okay, man. Let's go! <laughs> Great to watch some Atticus stream to end the day. Hey, what's going on, Caleb Collins, my man? Welcome to the stream, dude. Appreciate you guys. Guys, I'm gonna do just a quick shout-out already. Uh, or already. I'm gonna do a quick shout-out again. If you're here and you have not done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help a lot with the um, YouTube algorithm, so I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that like button. It'll help me out a ton. I'm so happy to have you guys here today and joining me on this on this very crazy cool stream. It's a ton of fun. It really is. It's a ton of fun. Um, yeah, I used the ump once, and it was at too long of a range. So it wasn't too good. Um, I'm hoping that now that it's a bit closer range that we can that it can actually be a bit better of a of a weapon. It seems very large and bulky. So we'll see. I'll go boost! Like, nice. I see that light count going up. You guys are hitting it. The day is always better with a little Atticus in the mix. Aw, oh, thanks, Micah! Big internet hug to you and to all of you guys. I, I gotta tell you guys, I'm really enjoying um, being able to stream with you guys here on YouTube once a week. I think it's a lot of fun, and us being able to hang out together and have some fun is, is really cool. Hey, thanks, Fried Bread. You're solid, my man. All right, you guys, we're loading loot. What's going to happen? We don't know. I also want to make a cool announcement, too, uh, once we get through this game. Hey, Craig! What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Hold on a sec. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into some shenaniganry. It's going to be real. Quinners, I have not, actually. I, I don't think I've ever had that brand. I've had Barks, Dads, A&W, obviously. I'm already, I'm already being cussed out. Holy cow. We're going in. Trying to lock down this area. That's a meanie.
I'm thinking I'm gonna flank around this way. Because that sounds freaking dangerous over there. It's not bad. We'll go up and around through the office. Because they want to, they, these guys over here want to control the underground. That's why they're there. Safety. Ah, What Ump is good. Ump is good at close range. What's the Yabagala? It's a bug. The Bagala! is really good at this range. Ten rounds in there. Bit left. Ten rounds in there. Alright, we should go. Oh! Ha ha ha! I'm okay! <laughs> I'm fine! My heart's in my stomach, but I'm totally fine! I am very happy that my bowels did not just evacuate. <laughs> He got a headshot. I think that was a scav. Let's see. Man, he waited. He waited. I heard the voice and I was like, what? I saw him too. No, that was a player. Well done on that player. Head eyes. Head eyes. That's fine. Good job on his part. He earned it. I, yeah, I did spot him. He, he, that was good on his part. To get a perfect head eyes like that. I'm thinking he had a shotgun. 
I, I'm really thinking he had a shotgun, because if it was head eyes like that, um, that's the only way that he could have done that. But hey, we got three scavs and got some XP and kind of went off with that ump. Okay, note to self, ump with that little stubby grip on the front and just regular full metal jacket ammo in factory is beastly. Damage dealt to body, 428. Damage absorbed by armor, 14. Ammo used was 38. Hit count was 8. So, again, it's it's a kicker. It's a kicker. It'll hurt you. But, hey, that was fun. That was fun. We got to go in and just kind of decimate, and it was fun. Ooh, I was so close. I was so close, too. That was the exit. All I had to do was push that door open. Again, GG on him. That was an exit camper, because that's the, that's the entrance that's always open. So he just bought his time, and then pfft, he probably had that area pre-sighted. He probably booked it over there when he spawned in. So, thanks, Brick Science. Ooh, Luke, you know this Friday's going to be amazing, dude. It's going to be solid. I was so hyped up. That was cool, though. That was cool. Um, Faith, what, when you, when you, when you had asked what ammunition was that, which, which part were you referring to? Were you referring to the, the flashbang that went off and scared me? Or were you referring to, uh, what I was using or what they were using? Oh yeah, for sure, Joanna. That's the thing with Factory. It, it can just be an absolute nightmare at times, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. I didn't have anything that was, like, ridiculously good loot. I, I, that was literally just for the experience. Which I am all the more closer to level 15. So that's good. Man, that was cool. That was cool. The one where you jumped out of your skin. Yeah, so what that was is that was a flashbang that went off almost right next to me. It was in the next room over. And that big pop and flash was a flashbang, like a stun grenade. Hey, what's up there, Vizan? How are you? What are my glasses for? Awesome girl. Those are uh, blue light blocking glasses. They they protect my eyes from the screen. So, guys, I am going to end the stream a little bit earlier tonight, but I'm not going to end the stream quite yet. I'm just going to get out of the game, and uh, I'd love to just have some just chatting with you guys where we get to just hang out and talk and uh, have some fun. So, let's let's just hang and talk and have some fun. Made you jump too. Are you really Hero Link? That's awesome, man. Sounds good. Get your cereal. Dude, I love blue lights. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness yay i love doing this it helps me get to know you better hey that's that's exactly why i like doing it too i love being able to have you guys get to know me better and hang out and have some fun what's up there sitharos how are you buddy happy ash wednesday to you as well let's see here They're super helpful to prevent headaches. That's exactly what they do for me. They prevent the headaches. And, uh... Yeah, it's awesome. I saw something pop up on my on my thing. That's funny. This is funny. Listen to this. This is a comment on my, my new series video by a person named Dave F. FYI, definition of a short person, a tall person with all of the BS removed. We are not short, we are efficiently small. What energy was wasted by others in being tall, that energy was put into our intelligence. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. I'll see if I can buy those glasses. These ones here... Uh, awesome girl are Gunner brand G-U-N-N-A-R 
It's their Onyx Interceptor model or Intercept model. And they're awesome. Fit my face perfectly. What's my MBTI? I don't I don't spend my time figuring that out. Actually, the jo Johanna, that's funny because that was one of the things that was like always talked about on eHarmony. Like everybody that I would see, I am blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what are these letters? Why can't you just tell me if you like long walks on the beach or not? Like what the dudes? How do you keep hawks away from your chickies? Um, we, we took, um, like chicken wire and where the chicken coop is on the side of the house, it's a hill with a fence and then the house. And what we did is we built supports out of PVC piping thick and then laid chicken wire on top of it. And essentially we made like a cage. And so that way the hawks can't get in by dive bombing and then picking up a chicken and getting off with it. And then, and then we have our dogs, too. I put my little dog, or my little dog, she's not the little dog. I put the dog Lucy outside, actually out there when I went to go pee. And then she can keep an eye on them for me until the stream is over. Could you tell us about your favorite acting job? See, the, the, the only problem with that fried bread is it's not just one, honestly. Um, I, I have been blessed with every single job that I've ever gotten, and each job was incredibly unique and fun creatively to be able to do. Um, obviously, the middle was a huge blessing to me in my life, but one of the jobs that I think was very creative and enjoyable for me personally that's a favorite would definitely be Ono on the Lion Guard. I absolutely love being a part of the Lion Guard, and I actually have a incredible fun time, an incredibly fun time, uh, working with the awesome people over at Adventures and Odyssey. They are solid people. I am hugely a fan of working for them. A lot of fun creatively. Right, Caleb? The tactical P before the flashbang? Absolutely. Thank you, Luke. Appreciate that. Oh, I'm sixth. Hold on. Let's see here. Oi, I'm 6'2", so yeah, we're pretty nuts. <laughs> Thank you, awesome girl, for the prayers for Mama Debbie. I'm bruh. Tell your mom I say hi back there, Luke. The what the deuce gave me Stewie from Family Guy vibes, yeah. You made a parody website of personality types? Nice. I'm taller than everyone in my family except my oldest brother. It's so weird being a girl and being 6'2", but those are the cards God gave me, so I'll play them. Hey, it makes you unique. I'm a hobbit, you're an elf. That's it. Or an elf, I should say. The 1KQ, them hawks think it's a... Yeah, yeah, you know it, buddy. Seriously. I got a joke. Do you have any idea what it is like living with a bunch of letters swimming around in your head for 24 years straight? Let me tell you, it's no alphabet soup. But I don't. Yeah, if we go follow marble. Oh, nice, nice. You're on Adventures and Odyssey? Yes, I am. I play Maury Rydell. I am Maury Rydell. Dude, when I found out you were in Adventures in Odyssey, I was very surprised. That's cool, though. That's awesome. I've had a lot of people that are like, what? Have you been able to stay in contact with any of the cast from the middle? It and the Andy Griffith show are my go-to comfort shows. Caleb, that is so cool to hear, my friend. Um, no, so we actually, when the show ended, everybody just kind of went their separate ways. Um, it's very rare, uh, that, that it, you know, a show ends up being like how Happy Days was and stuff like that. We're just all real people and we had other interests and desires for our lives that, that really just kind of took us in our own direction. Uh, so that's, that's kind of how that shook out. <laughs> Emoji dab chain. I love that radio series. My grandmother would play that for me. That's cool. I went to Chili's on Wednesday. Oh, did you really, Luke? Nice, man. What'd you get? 
I like chilies. I'm a fan of chilies. That's awesome, Brick Science. I mean, Faith, I really don't see that happening for us. I, I don't think that we're much of a Comic-Con sort of, you know, uh, show. I mean, it could. I, I don't, yeah, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't discount that because who knows what, you know, people who really are passionate about the show might want to see. But we'll see. Really, Brick Science? That's cool, man. Well, I'm glad you found me. I'm glad you're here, dude. Yes, Johanna. Mr. Whitaker is cool. The actor who plays Mr. Whitaker is really cool. I he's a he's a really good dude. No, no, and and the reason why Faith is because it's so family oriented. So it's kind of all encompassing of different interests of people. Oh. Luke, that sounds good. Bro, I've been sub for a while. The moment I realized you had a channel, I freaked out and subbed. I can only catch, like, two streams. Hey, but you know what, Fried Bread? You're here now, and I've got more streams and videos on the way, dude. So, I'm glad you're here, man. What is your favorite cartoon from your childhood? Great question. Oh, my goodness. I had so many. Cartoons were so rich when I was younger. I love the original Teen Titans. I love Samurai Jack. Um, really love Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um... Dexter's Laboratory was good, but I didn't get into it like the other ones. Of course, being a nerd that I am, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. It was so awesome. Those are definitely some of my some of my top, hands down the top five. So since you've had Chipotle, which do you prefer, Chipotle or Taco Bell? See, that's a, th that's a great question, Alex. You know, I used to love Taco Bell, but because of everything, all of the events of 2020... What they ended up doing is they actually started to take away my favorite items from the menu. And my mom's. We, we loved to get the shredded chicken burrito because it was cheap but really good and filling. And then we would get like tacos and stuff. Crunchy tacos. And when they took away the shredded chicken burrito, like at that point the quality just tanked. The flavor wasn't there. Um, the ingredients weren't there. Like just everything. So I think now I need to try Chipotle one more time. Because I need to make sure it's consistently good. But I'm getting very close to saying Chipotle is my preference to Taco Bell. The one problem with Chipotle, though, is it's incredibly expensive. Taco Bell, I can still get a very good, decent-sized meal for, like, 10 bucks. At Chipotle, my burrito alone was 10 bucks. So. Um, how often do you upload slash stream? So, Brick Science. Over on Twitch, I stream three times a week, every week. I stream Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Um, now on YouTube, I've made it my mission to stream as many Wednesdays as possible. So my goal is to stream here on YouTube every Wednesday at 3.30. I might have to take a Wednesday off once in a blue moon, but that's the new goal now. As far as uploading, the goal now is going to be to upload for my new roleplay series that's coming out every Friday until the season is completed. But that's the announcement I wanted to make with you guys, and I love that you kind of cued me up to segue to this topic, my friend. But you guys, I'm actually going to get into tactical and survival gear reviews here on the channel. I think it'd be very fun, especially with this whole uh, series that I have going on, and it's more post-apocalyptic in nature. So it's kind of survival and gear oriented. Uh, my goal is going to be to, once in a blue moon, be able to splash in a gear review of a piece of gear that I personally greatly enjoy um, as a YouTube video for all of you guys. So I'm very excited about that. Johanna, current favorite meal? All of them. All of them. Um, fried bread. I have a question. How consistently do you get noticed in public? Back in the day, pre-2020, I would get noticed in public every time I went out. Uh, since 2020, with the masks and the need to social distance, I only, I, I think I get noticed, uh, I think I get noticed by people, but I don't think people approach me because of all the events of 2020, um, and, and the virus and everything, which I actually appreciate because now is not the time to be doing, like, photos and stuff like that, um, 
but uh but yeah it's 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 a little bit more rare now hey what's going on kitbo how are you welcome to the stream uh do i drive yes i do drive i do have the ability to drive i am licensed and i have been uh for years now but because it's california if i can help it i i prefer to not drive just because it's so crazy uh but yes i i do have my license and can drive Hey, what's up, Radeon Oakmont? It's so good to see you. By the way, I read the entire book of Ruth, and I was so surprised to find out that she was David's grandmother. Right? Isn't that interconnectivity awesome? Chipotle is kind of famous for being hit or miss. Yeah. That's going to be so cool, dude. It really is. Was wondering about the announcement. Yep. Ooh, fry bread and homemade salsa. That does sound good, Radeon. Sorry for joining late, but I wanted to drop by and say hello. Hello, Ray of Sunshine, my amazingly talented friend. I received the email. Friend, thank you. Uh, I did get your text earlier too, Rachel. I was doing something before the stream. And I just didn't have time to respond. I am. I, I need to talk to you about that. Um, the one element that we talked about for the series. I won't be able to do that just because of where I'm at. Um, Schedule-wise and what I have going on. But I'll talk to you about that. I'll text you. Hmm. Anything we can pray for you. Um, please continue to pray for my precious mom. Um, and healing for her. Uh, if you guys could also pray for my dog Lucy and my cat Nighty Night. They are older and so they're starting to get some more medical issues. But we love them and we do not want them to be uh, hurting or anything like that. So please pray for them. Also, I did an audition for a really, really, really fun job today. It'd be cool to get. It'd be nice to have the extra income. But that's at the bottom of the list. Pray for my mom and my dog Lucy and my cat 99 ahead of that. Will you ever be doing like a fan meet thing? Probably not, but maybe. Well, fried bread, we have to see how the world shakes out, right? If I was able to do an event, I think it'd be a lot of fun. But until the world takes like 50,000 chill pills, I, can't, I don't see that happening. Can I just say that I think you're very brave to be so open about being a Christian not a lot of actors do that, and I really admire that about you. Listen, awesome girl. Without Jesus, I'm nothing. Without Jesus, I'm nothing. I would not be who I am. I would not be where I'm at. And this business in and of itself with Twitch and YouTube would not be what it is without Jesus. So it, 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 God says in his word that if you, if you acknowledge me in front of men, I will acknowledge you in front of my Father in heaven. And I want to be certain to acknowledge him in front of everyone. I love Jesus. Um, and I'm so grateful to be saved. I'm painfully aware and, and I was made to be aware of how much I needed him. And in these past years, especially, and I'm so grateful that I am his. Thank you everyone for the amazing prayers. Thank you. If you could only choose either pizza only for life or burgers only for life, which would you choose? Any toppings on either are allowed any day. If I was allowed any toppings any day, then Caleb, I would probably choose burgers. The reason why is because I don't want to be bound up from the pizza. And actually living off of burgers is much more doable than living off of pizza. So yeah, I would definitely pick burgers for the rest of my life. Uh, instead of pizza. Because then you can make a burger salad. You can put different toppings on it. Different breads. Everything. And you could do pretty good. Plus, uh, uh, ground beef, if you can find it right, is pretty cost effective. So, that's a great question. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Luke. 
Gotta head out, dude. Great stream. We'll be praying. Thank you so much, Brick Science. You take it easy, buddy. See you soon. Amen. Glory to God, always and forever. Amen, Alex. That's what I'm talking about. Is there going to be records like CDs in heaven? I hope so. I definitely think that God appreciates good music, so I, I definitely think we'll have access to some good music. You know, Skillet, Crowder, Lacey Sturm. I used to think all actors... Yeah. Yeah. I know it's weird, but hey, I was like six. Anyways, it's cool to see actual one of my idols being open as Christian. Absolutely fried bread. Listen, man, there is a lot of, you know, in any job, there's dark aspects. And unfortunately, Hollywood does have sides of it that are very unhealthy and, and, and straight evil, like what you're talking about. Um, but that's why, you know, I do want to stand apart from that. And there are a lot of awesome people who do stand apart from that too, like Denzel Washington and others. And uh, we just got to hold our ground for the Lord and, and, and let God lead us and guide us in what we want to do. You thought like me, I love some great beef anytime. Hey, you know it, Caleb. Yes, Faith. Exactly. Exactly, friend. Hey, what's up there, Prakar? How are you, friend? Yes, that's true there, Luke. That's true. I think Heaven will have all of the music. Not all of the music. The good music. We gotta make that specificity. Prayers for me and my fiance as we plan our wedding to not just be to just not be overwhelmed. Absolutely will do. My dear friends, I am gonna cut the stream off a little bit early here. I want to make sure uh, mom mom went out actually to do something, and I want to make sure that things are the way that they're supposed to be when she gets back. Uh, so I'm gonna close out the stream in prayer. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for joining me today on this awesome awesome stream. Like I said in the poll, the next YouTube stream. Next week, hopefully, is going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. So I'm very much um, excited about that. And of course, we've got the series premiering on uh, Friday. So that is going to be awesome. <laughs> awesome girl, that's funny. That's funny. But yes, guys, let us pray and then we will uh, end off tonight's stream. Thank you so much, Joanna. Beautiful Father in heaven, almighty God, I just thank you so much for this wonderful stream, and I thank you, Father, for all of these amazing people who I was able to laugh with and hang out with and have fun with tonight. Lord, I thank you for your provision and love, and I thank you, Father God, that you are who you are. Uh, Lord, without you, we are nothing, and I'm just so grateful to you, Lord, that we belong to you. Father, I want to uplift um, Hero Link, who is Sally, who... Uh, well, he's using Sally's YouTube account, but I want to uplift Hero Link uh, that, Lord, you would grant him and his fiance the patience that they need and the wisdom that they need to properly plan their wedding. And, Lord, I pray that you would be at the helm of their wedding and let it only be a blessing uh, for them and for each other and an amazing, beautiful memory that they can hold and cherish with them for the rest of their lives. Father, I pray for dear Abby. You know why tomorrow is going to be such a rough day. And I just pray, Father in heaven, almighty God, that you would be with them, with her um, tomorrow. Uh, whatever tomorrow is going to look like or bring for her, be with her, um, watch over her, and give her wisdom to navigate it. And I pray for all of my amazing friends here, everyone who can hear the sound of my voice. If there is anybody who is watching this stream or the video of this stream and they do not know you, reveal yourself to them. And Lord, Father in heaven, help them to see you to understand their need of you and to turn to you. Father in heaven, be with everyone here. Protect and watch over each and every one of us, Lord God. Keep us safe. Thank you, Father in heaven, that you defeated the enemy. Thank you, Father in heaven, that the end of the book is the defeat of the enemy and you reigning as king forever, Lord and King Jesus. Father in heaven, thank you for overcoming death, hell, and the grave. And thank you for doing so for our benefit. 
Thank you, Father in heaven, for doing what we could never do ourselves. And thank you, God, for saving us and that the gift of salvation is just that, a gift. It is your grace and your mercy and your love for us shining through. Lord God, we praise you, we worship you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Woo. Oh, we're going to hold on, guys. Let's pray for Audrey here. And Lord, we pray for immense healing for Audrey, that Lord, you would be with her, that Lord God, you would watch over her, heal her of her stomach, heal her stomach of whatever ails it and father make her well in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Beautiful and beautiful. God bless each and every one of you guys. I cannot wait to hear the feedback from you all on Friday when the episode premieres. Remember, it's going to premiere at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's going to go live. It's, and it's not a premiere. It's not a YouTube quote premiere, but it will drop. Uh, it will be published where you all can see it on Friday at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you don't want to miss it. Love you guys. Every single one of you guys be safe. Remember, Jesus is king. Our king is coming back. Soli Deo Gloria. Dovidzenia.